Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Payroll tutorial, I'll talk about maintain calendar. This is the first step if you want to use the Lyft or app, Lyft applications in SQL Payroll. Let's go to SQL Payroll, go to Lyft, maintain calendar. By default, there is a default calendar. So if your whole company follow one set of calendar, then you just edit this will do. If your company have multiple calendar, maybe you have branches or you have factory worker and office worker that follow different rules of rest day and so on. So you can create different calendar group. Now let's edit this calendar. Example, this company, the rest day is Saturday and Sunday. So what you need to do is click on annual rest day select saturday click ok then you can see all saturday now is a rest day and if you want to set sunday as a rest day as well then click on and a rest day but this time change to sunday and click ok now all saturday and sunday in 218 will be a rest day for this company and you want to set the public holiday public holiday is in red color so you click p maybe it's um, 31st of august is a national day click on it then again maybe first of may okay now you can see that 31st of august is a public holiday and you wish to change the description to national day maybe and first of may is labor day and you have another branch New, let's say this is a draw hall branch. So you have a draw hall calendar. And draw hall, let's say the rest day will be Friday and Saturday. Then do the same thing, click and rest day, select Friday, OK. Click again, select Saturday, OK. And the rest you set accordingly and now you have two set of calendar then go to human resource maintain employee let's say brian is following joho calendar because this is a staff in joho branch so go into brian click edit go to grouping and change the calendar to joho so Later on, during the leave applications, then you can see that it will use the draw hall calendar. Now, thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.